Hey, welcome back to the H1 video. And yes, today I am trying every single fall item from Starbucks. Wish me luck. All right, guys, like I said, welcome back to another H1 video. And yes, today is another Starbucks video, but now we're in fall time because it's the beginning of September. So that means I'm going to try every single one of their fall menu items. Yes. I guess I'm a little hungry today. Uh, so yeah, I have all the autumn seasonal items that I saw on the menu. If there's something I missed, I'm sorry. I, I looked at the menu and I bought it. Some of these items I have tried in the past. Maybe not on camera, maybe on camera. I don't know. I've never really tried any of their food though on camera, I know that. So that'll be interesting for the channel. I'll be honest, I almost never get food at Starbucks. I usually always just get a drink. All right, first things first. They have pumpkin loaf, and it was kind of already falling apart as I was getting it out of the bag. So I think that means it's moist and delicious. Gonna get a bag to eat it in, because otherwise it's gonna crumble in my car. Here's just a piece of the pumpkin loaf that I'm gonna eat right now. It's got like seeds on it, which is kind of cool. I love pumpkin bread, so this should be bomb. Wow, it's really moist. I, like really, really moist. Oh, there are pumpkin seeds on it, duh. I'm an idiot. Mm, it's good. I would say it's almost a little too moist. It starts getting very like doughy. But it's good. I'm sure it's really sweet. I don't know what the calories are on basically anything I'm eating. So I'll put the calories of everything here as I eat them. So boom, pumpkin loaf. So I mean, it's good. I like it. I'm not mad. So let's balance out that sweet and wash it down with the pumpkin cream. Ooh. Now, I've gotten this since it came out a few days ago. And yeah, I've already had this like four times. I have it every time it's available because I think it's delicious. They had it last year and it was like my favorite fall menu item from Starbucks last year. I know I tried it on the channel. I must have. Uh, and yeah, it's still a favorite. It's still bomb. That's what it looks like. So it's got the pumpkin cream on top and then it's just regular Starbucks cold brew. I might put like a pump of vanilla in there, I think, but cheers. Oh, that's good. This is like my always favorite right here. All right, and next up, I've got the pumpkin scone. So there's the scone and what it looks like. Yep, very scony. Now, I'm normally not a big fan of scones because they're very like dry and crumbly and I'm not about that life, but I'm gonna give this a try. There looks to be like hard frosting on there. Let's see how it is. Oh. Mm-hmm. As predicted, very dry. Mm-hmm. That's a cross center. Yeah. Nah. I'm not a big fan of scones, though. Yeah, I don't normally eat scones. I've never, like, gone to a restaurant or, or you know, a coffee shop and knowing they have scones gone, I'm gonna get a scone today. It's just not what I do. So, I'm gonna pass on the scone. Not a big fan. All right. Here is the salted caramel frappuccino. So I wanted to get the lid open because I want to show you guys that they also put, oh, it's going to be hard for you guys to see. They got like bits of salt on top of the whipped cream for the salted caramel mocha. Let's see. So salted caramel mocha means there's also chocolate in this, as you can see from the coloring down below. But all right, let's give it a sip. Mmm, this is good. Definitely, definitely tastes like salted caramel mocha. Like, have you ever had salted caramel and chocolate together, like in a candy bar? I mean, this is it right here. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that whipped cream with the salted caramel on top. And the salted caramel is just caramel whipped cream 
and the sugar bits. I don't think it's actually salt, but... Or maybe. Maybe. No, it's not. Maybe. I could just eat the whipped cream. Like, just alone, just the whipped cream, I would be happy. One thing I'll say about the mocha today, it might be within the special mocha they use for this because it is very... It's more bitter than the regular mocha frappuccino. All right, we are working our way down. All we got left now is this pumpkin cream cheese muffin. So it's a muffin and it's got cream cheese in the middle. The cream cheese in the middle, muffin with more of those pumpkin seeds on top. I'm gonna try to take a big bite so I get some of the cheesecake in the middle. Here we go. There's a cross section of that bite. Good. Again, moist like the pumpkin loaf. All right, here's the thing with the pumpkin cheesecake muffin things. It was good. It's a little too sweet. The pumpkin loaf was already pretty sweet. So I would say it tastes like the pumpkin loaf, but with cream cheese. So, you know, if you want to save a few calories, go ahead and get the pumpkin loaf. I would say with the cream cheese, it's just a bit too sweet for me. Yeah, it's it's like like candy almost. It's just, it's very sweet. It's cream cheese and very sweet pumpkin loaf. But anyway, if you're really into sweet, sweets like that, go for it. I would say, since I've tried all three, my favorite so far is the pumpkin loaf, followed by the pumpkin muffin, and then lastly, the scone, because I just don't like scones. So it's, it hit the bottom of my radar scale. All right, guys. I saved the proverbial best for last, the hot pumpkin spice latte. This, the PSL, is the most popular fall item at Starbucks, obviously. It's like what started fall items. This pumpkin spice latte, I believe started the pumpkin spice craze. There's pumpkin spice everything now, mostly in due because of this latte. I would open it, but it's just the pumpkin spice latte, milk, espresso, and cinnamon on top. I'm going to give this a sip now. Oh, reliable. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Mm. It's good. It's a classic. Um, very milky. There is obviously the pumpkin spice in there that helps balance that latte out, making it really nice. It's not overly sweet. I would say it's a really good balance. But now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, my favorite drink, boom. The pumpkin cream cold brew. Guys, from, it's a home run for me every time. Nothing is better at Starbucks for me during the fall times than a pumpkin cream cold brew. And pro tip, if you don't want all the caffeine in a cold brew, you can just get the pumpkin cream on any iced coffee. So I've gotten like venti or grande iced coffees that don't have as much caffeine as the cold brew and just hold them to put the pumpkin cream on top and they'll do it. They'll charge you more money for it, but they'll do it. All right guys, but that does it for another 8 tree one. Not just regular video, not just food review, but Starbucks review of every single fall menu item so far. It is the beginning of September. Who knows? Maybe in October we'll get some other cool fall items. But anyway, that does it for another H1 video. If you liked this video, please go ahead and leave a like. And if you loved it, go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, me and all these drinks, catch you later. Bye.